seconds your planet will die. Now fly over and join the extraction at once. Never! The only extraction I'm interested in is a martini from a glass. You prepare to die. Go ahead. I could use the entertainment. I imagine training robots would be as slow and tedious as explaining to an alien why he should spare your life because you can tune a thermostat. However, NeuroRobotics is directly addressing the challenge of slow, costly robot training by using NVIDIA Cosmos. This platform accelerates robot learning with photorealistic synthetic data and advanced video to action capabilities, allowing NeuroRobots to efficiently perform complex tasks. You might want to make space for a NeuroRobot in your home as its easy training could convince you to add one to the family. Coming up, we'll explore what these robots can do and how they do it, but first, let's check out our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. Cruze 8151-9132 solenoids and actuators provide reliable, efficient solutions for diverse industrial applications. These miniature solenoid valves support both AC and DC operation with voltages ranging from 24 volts to 230 volts. With a low power consumption of 2.5 volts amperes AC or 1 watt DC, these valves feature a durable and compact design with IP65 protection, ensuring reliability in harsh environments. They operate efficiently with filtered, oil-free compressed air or inert gas in our rated 100% duty cycle. Additionally, they offer quick switching times, long mechanical life, and a variety of mounting options, making them ideal for precise control in industrial systems. To learn more, head over to mauser.com today or click the link in the description below. Dr. Kuchenheimer, how did you kill the alien? I realized when I got zapped that the ray was mostly UV, so naturally I used my glasses to deflect it. Octa mine and Guta, the Earth! I know. Now I'll never know why systems always work in the lab, but fail at scale. Quick, activate the Kuchen Trotter Planet Patcher! Yes, Doctor. It works! Woo! Now there's still time to explore why pens always disappear right when you need one. Or not. Incoming! Pond actors are really cool for starting motors in a really simple way, but they're really nothing more than just large relays. But relays, contactors, what actually makes them work? What, what's going on inside of a contactor that causes it to use the electricity for the coil, does the stuff with the contactors? Well, the best answer is let's take a look inside. So on this contactor, we're gonna first remove the auxiliary contact block at the top. And using little clips on the side, we can remove the top. And inside, we see the spring that returns it back to the normal position when the energy is removed. But we also see inside this coil. Now this coil has electricity that's supplied by the coil terminals, not the contact terminals. And the purpose of this coil is to supply an electromagnetic energy, just like any electromagnet wrapped around a center of iron. And this core, which is a ferrous core, pulls like a magnet to engage the contacts. We can also manually do this by pressing on the top of the contactor. And the sound that we hear is very familiar. Every time you supply energy to the coil terminals of a contactor, you hear that click. For a large contactor, that sound is much more defined. Clunk, clunk, each time it turns on and off. And the spring ensures that when we release the energy to the coil, or when we stop pressing on it manually, it will return back to the open position. That means that all of the contacts inside of this contactor are normally open. Now sometimes we need the auxiliary contact to engage with the coil so that when we need an extra set of normally open or normally closed control signals, they also interface with that piece that's moving on the top of the contactor. But it's the coil that really makes the contactor do its job. 
just like most other solenoid-controlled devices that contain a coil of wire wrapped around a ferrous core to create an electromagnetic field that causes the energy to go from electricity into motion, which allows valves, contactors, and all kinds of other devices to actually do their job. These electromagnets, as mysterious as they are, are responsible for most of the motion that happens inside any facility, and I think that's pretty fascinating. Andy, back to you. Good work, Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Growing up, we were so poor, we had to slingshot the cats to keep them from eating our rats. Well, neurorobots may not yet have the ability to self-replicate, but they can still do some pretty cool stuff. For example, 4NE1 humanoid, MIPA service robot, and Myra industrial robot can all learn tasks by observation. By simply observing, neurorobots learn to perform complex tasks on their own. With skills like that, it's easy to see why aliens might not be so impressed with us humans. Unless... I've heard of resurrections before, but not replications. We multiply rather than die. That is how the species procreate. How is that possible? Our lack of popularity makes us unpopular with the ladies. And probably too. Flesh <laughs> like life has become unpopular. Dr. K, today's my parents' anniversary. They're having a big party with lots of food, dancing, music, and all the relatives are gonna be there. Well, why didn't you go? They didn't tell me where it is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't you just have a birthday party? Yes, last week. Didn't you invite them? Yeah, but they didn't come. This is another fine mess you've gotten me into on Dunk Off. I think that alien in the pink scarf likes me. She can't keep her eyes off me. Oh, shut up and get off my foot!